I've been invited to tag along for the day with my old buddy Nigel Turner, who's a gamekeeper on the Coatsback Shoe in Leicestershire. We're all organised now. Now just give us our instructions for the first drive. We're going to load up in the minibus. We're going to head off. Okay, hit Team Wild TV. We're getting asked a lot of the time, what's the best way to get into shooting? How do you guys get your pigeon shooting? How do you get your fox shooting? And one of the best ways we've found to do it is to come along to your local shoot, speak with the farmer, speak with the gamekeepers, and spend some time with them. So today we've come beating at Coach Batch Game Shoot. It's a small syndicate affair. A nice, beautiful, snowy day, nice and cold. So as long as you've got decent footwear and a nice warm jacket, it's the kind of thing that anybody can do. The guns unload and get ready for the first drive. Now I just left me in the capable hands of Dave here. So Dave's took us up to the start off of the first drive. We're waiting now. The rest of the beaters are lining out along the back of these fields and going to start bringing it in. When they start to, to come in, we'll get the call on the radio and we start to push this way and then downwards. And the ultimate aim is to push the birds over the line of guns that are stood waiting at the bottom of this valley. So hope it goes right, otherwise Nigel's going to give me a telling off, and Dave. <laughs> Find him, right? At this time of year, and in this weather, the birds are holed up under the hedgerows or any available cover. Get in. Like I've said before, this is the kind of thing you can do. Anybody can do it. You don't have to have specialist kit and all the rest of it. Just something waterproof, warm, a good stick. You don't even have to have a dog. If you don't have a dog, you can still go there. There's plenty of flagging in jobs and things to do. It really is just a case of getting out there, speaking to a few keepers, speaking to a few farmers, and, uh, and go from there. It's not long before the birds start to take to the air, and they fly really well. The flaggers are there to try to prevent the birds from breaking over the edge of the shooting line. We work the hedgerow down nice and steady and push out some really nice birds. Good dog. I vote! Oh man, they're on the bell. <laughs> oh, this pheasant was literally saved by the bell, which had just sounded for the end of the drive. That went according to plan. Some real nice birds up over the guns there. Excellent shooting. I think everyone had a bit of shooting. We've got five minutes now while they're going to pick the birds up. Bracken managed to pick one that dropped and come back into the hedge. So um, we'll go up now and reconvene around the side here and see what we're going to be doing. Get our instructions from Nigel. Yeah, no, I do. Okay, so on this drive, we're going to join the guns down in this valley down here. We're going to see a bit of the action. Okay, we're here with Rachel. She's part of the picking up team. Now the idea of this is that the um, birds are dispatched as soon as possible and any wounded birds that land, not only the birds that are shot dead, but the stuff that's wounded gets picked up immediately. Can tell us a little bit about your dogs? Yeah, uh, this is Austin and Lacey, both about four years old. How many say so they've been working them all the time, haven't they? Yeah. So yeah. very experienced dogs. So anything yeah. that hits the deck and is wounded starts to run. These birds, these dogs are straight on it and it gets dispatched immediately. Great and stuff. And I have a priest that does the job. <laughs> Excellent stuff. So, Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, let's get lined out and okay. get behind the guns. Thank you. you. Cheers. <laughs> the birds fly well again with some really high sporting birds emerging over the tree line. I hear lots of shots, but I don't see many dropping. OK, 
Okay, that was a pretty good drive. Uh, like the birds come out to this side, didn't pick up a, a lot of height, but there were really there were some fast moving birds. The birds that went out over those trees and cleared the trees must have provided some fantastic shooting for the guys down the bottom end. I'd love to have been underneath some of them. Brilliant. Part of the EC regulations now state that you have to have a, a game cart that's designed to allow the birds to cool down <coughs> quick enough. So I don't think it really matters in weather like this, they're going to cool down quick enough anyway. So as you can see, the birds are racked, the birds are paired up, racked up, plenty of room there. They get carried about today, and as soon as we're done, they'll go back into the frigid night, into the chill. So um, all ready for the game dealers. You're in charge of this, aren't you? Are the, are the beaters? I'm going to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been very kind to us. He's let us come in, stand behind the guns. We're going to stand in here now, watch these guys shooting. We should have some real good birds come up over the top of this bank, straight over, and hopefully they'll be making to clear the wood, so they'll be picking up height all along. We'll see how we go on. Quite a few of the birds have broken out the side of the beating line, which means they won't go over the line of guns. But it's not unusual for this time of year, as the birds have got a pretty good idea of what's going on. One of the other great things about coming beaten is you get fed. So we've just had our lunch now, we've had some pork rolls and what have you. We're going to go back out now, brave the cold and do another three drives. Get in. Find them. Okay, so now we're going to start beating on this first drive. We're going to be taking this, this hedge down through some game crop. Gonna work the dog down the hedge and basically we're just pushing the birds all the way down to where the guns are lined out at the bottom. Take it nice and steady and flush the birds in a nice slow and even manner. Get in. Good dog, find them. Get in. It's also important to keep a nice straight line. If you look down into the field now. You see that we're keeping a straight line as we're pushing the birds forward. Again, some really nice birds passing over the guns. Some very challenging shots and a good show of birds for this late in the season. Okay now, the drive's finished. The guys that are picking up, they're doing their job. They've marked down the birds, so they know exactly where they are. Dogs are going to pick them up now. Right, we're on the final drive of the day now. This drive's called Marriott's. And if I know Neil, he'll have kept something pretty spectacular for the end. We'll have a bit of a grand finale. Well, I certainly wasn't wrong. Considering this is the 25th of January, that's a spectacular show of birds, really. There were some cracking birds in there that come up over the top of these trees, picked up loads of height as they were coming over, over the end of these guns. Really, really good birds. I'd have been proud to pull some of them down myself. Really, really good. So, that's it now. We'll go back to the um, yard, have a count up, 
help him unload the birds in there. We'll have a word with Nigel and see how he thinks the day's gone on. We're going to do a formal introduction at the end of the day today because we haven't seen much of Nigel. He's been rushing about, organising the beaters, organising the drives, organising the picker-uppers. He's been done a pretty good job, I reckon. Um, how do you think the day's gone, Nigel? Yeah, it went, considering the time of year, it went quite well, really. Was, we've still got a fair amount of birds about, about and considering we've got snow on the ground, you know, we've some yeah. birds fly. And what was your bag today? What was your... uh, it was about 97, I think. Today, 97, yeah. which is great. And, and I'm thinking this is your last day now for yeah, shooting. Yeah, it's our last day, yeah. So we've got, just got two beaters days left. Yeah, so well, considering it's your last day, I mean, the two last drives we had there, Marriott's and the one before that, they were absolutely, the birds coming out over the top of the trees when they were climbing, they just kept climbing some cracking birds on there, some really good sporting birds on there. I was very impressed with that. We've been saying that we found, uh, or we have found in the past, that a good way of getting into shooting, foxing, pigeon shooting, things like that, is to come along to a, a shoot and do a bit of beating, help them out when they're putting the pheasant pens up and all the rest of it. Would you agree with that? Well, yeah, we get some of the, like, after the shooting season, we get we have a couple of pigeon national shooting days, like in the woods yeah. and that, and they go pigeon shooting the game crops and do a fox bit, and some of them go fox shooting and that. So that's guys that you have beaten for you yes, through, the yeah, season. through the season? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great stuff. So, so there you go. If you want to get into some shooting, get along to your nearest shoot, ask what you can do to help out, go do a bit of beating, you get fed, and you get a brace of birds at the end of the day. And I reckon, Nigel, You've earned yourself a Team Wild hat. Well, Wear it with pride, yeah? Well, <laughs> well, cheers, buddy. Cheers, thank thank you. you. And of course, it would be rude not to have a beer or two at the end of the day. Just to be social, of course. Subscribe to Team Wild TV for all the best hunting shows on YouTube.